Hello, I am your cyborg instructor and I will be teaching you how to be a weapons officer. That's right, weapons. This is no pleasure cruise. Your purpose is to target enemies, deliver offensive ordinances, and engage defensive mechanisms. This role can be highly engaging while in battle. Let's begin. In the center of your control panel is a circular radar window. You can see your ship in the center and any other entities within 5U. The science and relay officers can see much further and can notify you of incoming targets. You also have access to the armory containing silos of various munitions. Those munitions can be seen on the left of the control panel and must first be loaded before firing. I will load one of each type and demonstrate their use. Please, do not try this at home. To load a munition simply select it, and then click the Load button next to the corresponding tube. Once loaded, a missile's trajectory will display on the radar system. Mines can only be loaded in the rear. Notice that each weapon tube faces a specific direction. It is critical that you coordinate with the helms officer to maneuver accordingly. Using the radar window, press on the vessel you would like to target. The missiles will lock onto the selected target except HVLI. You can manually aim the missile, but unless you possess some form of Vulcan mysticism, it is highly illogical. If you feel so inclined, use the dial on the outer rim of the radar to aim. HVLI fires a series of five missiles directly out of the missile tube. Aiming is performed by the helm's officer. Using the heading markers at the rim of the radar window, I have notified the helm's officer to maneuver the ship to heading 183. Three out of five, I must be missing an update. The electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, deals no damage to the ship but can cripple the shields. The EMP missile has an effective range of 1U. If this appears to be too difficult for you already, then there are also positions open on the holodeck for waste extraction. The mine is a powerful stationary explosive that detonates when a ship is one year away, damaging anything within that radius. Before firing any weapons, ensure you get approval from the rest of the crew to engage the enemy. Missiles are hard to take back once they have been fired. The unload button will remove a missile from the tube allowing another missile to take its place. The homing missile is a small warhead that will trace the enemy to the best of its ability. If you find yourself on the receiving end of these attacks, the helms officer can use combat maneuvers to escape. The nuke is a powerful homing weapon that deals tremendous damage to all vessels within one U of detonation. These are less plentiful so use them wisely. Oops. That was for demonstration, of course. Beam weapons engage when an enemy is targeted and falls within the red firing arcs. If I enter the enemy's beam weapon engagement zones I will begin to receive damage. Ouch. It is the weapons officer's duty to activate the shields to protect the ship. You are provided energy and shield information in the top left for your situational awareness. The shields act as a protective barrier against missiles and beam weapons. Shield frequency can be calibrated to be more effective against enemy beam weapons. The science officer can provide the appropriate frequency. They also protect the ship from collisions with mines and asteroids in case the helms officer is a dunce. The shields draw a significant amount of power, so use them only when necessary. Your beam weapon's frequency can be calibrated to deal maximum damage. You can also target specific system on the enemy ship. Select the hull to do general damage and destroy the ship. We are the champions, my friend.